this is a slider made uh, Southwest style. Nice. And you could either use, you could use beef or you could use ground turkey, turkey and ground chicken, whatever you want. It doesn't have to be, be beef. No, but I love that you chose ground turkey, Em, because you're gonna add some ingredients that'll help keep it moist. Well, and what we're gonna do is we made a Southwest spice. So we use the base, you know, sort of like the essence, but we use the base as chili powder. It's got cumin. Uh, it's got coriander, salt, of course, et cetera, et cetera. All those best friends. Right. They all like to hang so, out. Smells like Amazing. I'm in the Southwest. <laughs> and so what we're going to do is we're going to season that as light or as heavy as you want. Okay? We're very seasony yes, people. Yes, a little like, salt like is... the salty, yeah. the more peppery, the better. Right. We're going to add a little bit of Worcestershire. I love Worcestershire. Now... Red onion doesn't get the credit that it really deserves. Because <laughs> nah. I cook a lot with Me red too. onion. Me and too. I know you do too. Yeah, Rachel. yeah, yeah. Um, so red onion, uh, finely chopped, um, green onion, sliced. Yeah. And depending on how much heat you want, this is two Serrano chilies. Yeah. Which is going to be well, kind of. chili pepper. Right. It's going to be a little spicy. What we're going to do to just moisten it up is this is two eggs separated. This is just the whites. So you not know, only especially with turkey meat, all of these things are going to help prevent the, the ground turkey from becoming really dry, especially if you use turkey breast, right? Ex exactly. Because it's so dry. Form and your you patties. And you want me to throw some of your patties out? Please. I, I love this. This is a good tip, too. See how Emerald has all his patties? They're, they're formed and even in size and shape so that when you put them on, they all have the same cooking time. Exactly. Right? So we're using a griddle pan. And what we're going to do is we're going to add just a little bit of oil. We're not going to drown it. But because it's it's super, you know, super lean, we're gonna add the patties. Use your spatula, okay? Just because of cross contamination with the turkey, yeah, or your hands, I right. don't know. So now what you want to do is now that we, I mean, we had the seasoning. Uh, I usually take a little piece of that meat from the bowl oh, and yeah, cook and it first it. and yep, test yep. it and taste it to make sure the seasoning is good. I know that it is, but now I'm gonna add a little bit more of that Southwest spice. What I'm gonna do is take some of that Southwest spice and add that to our mayonnaise to sort of make it like a little chili mayonnaise. Nice. Okay? As much as you want, or as little as you want. We have our slider buns. A uh, little brioche slider yeah, buns, we adorable. Yeah, we have accoutrement. So what we wanna do when the burgers are ready, just about, we wanna cheese them, um, although, not everyone in my house wants cheese. Yeah. We're gonna take a little bit of this. You're okay with mayonnaise, right? Sure. Okay. You How about a little? Couture? Yeah, a little bit of tomato. I'm coming in with these here. Oh, you got some buttes. Oh there. yeah. Can I put onion? Yes. I love. Onion. I love onion. A little lettuce. Little lettuce. A little lettuce. So now we're gonna add our burger. Oh. And then, wait, and then I'm gonna show you a little trick. I like to take a little bit of these. Tortilla chips, shh, don't tell anybody, okay? Wow. And I just put, because then what, what's gonna happen is, listen. Oh! You see? 